Hi guys and welcome once again to the channel The Narrowboat Nomad. Uh, firstly can I say an absolute huge thank you to everyone that subscribed and has left me comments. Uh, obviously as you appreciate this is all new to me so yeah it's all great but yeah a real heartfelt thanks uh, for all the comments and uh, for everyone that subscribed. Okay so in the last vlog I was moored up on the Grand Union not far from Wilton Marina um, and then I came up the Buckbury 7 lock flight, continued along the canal uh, towards Norton Junction, which is where the Leicester line uh, goes off. But I kept on to the, the main line and I moored up between uh, bridges 10 and 9. Uh, I was there for a couple of days, uh, which was really nice, although unfortunately the weather had changed a little bit. It had been really hot and sunny. Um, but it became a little bit overcast, a little bit of drizzle and things like that. But effectively, you know, it can't be perfect all the time, can it? Um, but uh, having part moored up there for, you know, a couple of days, my plan then was to continue along and make my way up to the North Oxford Canal. Um, so I would head in across towards Braunston, uh, which of course meant that I've got to go through the Braunston Tunnel. So yeah, once again, jumping in at the deep end. Um, but yeah, it was fine, to be honest. Um, the tunnel itself is about 1.85, 1.86 kilometers long. Um, and yeah, it, it's, uh, it's wide enough for two narrow boats. Um, so you can pass someone in the tunnel. Uh, obviously, if you've got a wide beam, you have to book with the Canal and River Trust I think it's 48 hours uh, in advance and then you've got to go through fairly early in the morning, 8 o'clock or something. But for normal narrow boats there's no restrictions and it was quite uh, quite fine. I must admit when I did uh, go through there was quite a lot of uh, exhaust smoke uh, in the tunnel even though there are three air shafts but it might have just been the weather and, and the way things were. But the tunnel itself was opened in 1796 designed by William Jessop. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's uh, unfortunately when they were constructing it, uh, apparently they had some problems with some soil movements or some quicksand or something. And also there was a bit of a, a mix up in some of the sort of direction calculations or whatever. So there is a slight S bend uh, in the tunnel, but it certainly didn't present any problems. And yeah, I mean, I was quite pleased actually. <laughs> Uh, got through without any hitches and passed a couple of votes in the tunnel so yeah everything went well so once i left the tunnel i continued then along uh and down the braunston locks uh the flight of locks there towards braunston junction and then uh, from braunston junction uh mm. sort of bed right effectively uh and made my way onto the north oxford canal where i moored up so that's really the the sort of stage of play for this uh, for this vlog uh, so i hope you enjoy it thanks for joining me and uh, let's go let's see how we get on so i've just arrived at the entrance to the braunston tunnel the tunnel's about a mile long and I'm told it's got a slight S sort of kink in it because of when it was built. Um, they found uh, silt in places and also there was a bit of a mix up with the direction. So <laughs> it's got a slight kink in it. it. Takes about 20 minutes to go through. So this is my first time through a tunnel. And uh, yeah, it happens to be a big one. <laughs> so let's see how things go. Going to put my lights on. Got a front light. Good morning. Morning. Got a front light and then uh, I bought myself a work light which I can put on the front of the boat and shine up onto the wall. Put some interior lights on and hopefully it'll all go well. We'll see. So this is the entrance to the Braunston. Just come up to take a, a clip. I don't know if you can actually see but there's smoke drifting out from the tunnel. I can only assume that that's uh, exhaust from the boats that have gone through or coming through. Could you see a little bit more of the uh, smoke that's drifting out from the tunnel. I'm assuming it's smoke anyway. Can't think of what else it could be. Looks a bit dark and eerie though. <laughs> so 
So here we go. I'm under on the water and under the ground. You might be able to make out a little tiny pinprick of light way off in the distance and that's the exit to the tunnel but that's still almost a mile away. So if you look closely, sort of forward and to the left, you can just see the light of an oncoming boat, one of two that are passing the tunnel. So once through the tunnel, I had to then uh, descend the Braunston locks in order to get to Braunston Junction. So these Braunston locks are double locks, um, but even though I had a little bit of help, it was easy just to open one of the, uh, the gates and go through just on one side of it. So having successfully negotiated the, uh, the Braunston Tunnel, come down through the Braunston Locks to Braunston Junction, which is really the hub of the sort of canal network really. Uh, I turned then on to the, uh, the North Oxford Canal where I moored up, just relaxed at the end of the day, watch the wildlife and the ducks and the birds. Um, I have to say that uh, today's been a great day from the point of view of uh, other boaters. And everyone I've met have been really super friendly. Uh, super helpful yeah it's, it's a really great community boat life and uh, yeah glad to be a part of it really so that's the end of the vlog um, 
trying to get a little bit better as I go along, so bear with me. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it and um, you'll join me next time. So once again, thanks again for all those people that have subscribed and those of you sent me comments. I really do appreciate it. It does help me. So if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. In the meantime, just take life easy.